Hey there, I am so glad you are here. I'm Brandy Joy of BrandyJoy.com and I help light workers awaken their spiritual abilities through ancient magical practices and tantric exercises. So I also have a YouTube channel called Brandy Joy TV. And today we are going to dive into an awesome spiritual awakening episode. And this is called Three Signs You Are Spiritually Awake and You Don't Even Know It. So the first sign that you are spiritually awake is that you have a high intuition and you have high empathy. And so this high intuition, this high empathy, you'll pick up on other people's moods. You'll know when somebody is lying. You know what I mean? Um, you might even have a dream and then the next day something happens and you're like, whoa, that was that dream, right? So it's where just things start happening and you just know things. You are able to read people really well, really easily, and you pick up everybody's moods. Um, sorry about the airplane going over me right now. I'm actually downtown Orlando, that's where I live, and uh, airplanes come over sometimes so sorry about that but anyways um, so you have this like high intuition high empathy right and you'll pick up other people's moods so if you go into like a Walmart for instance you might be feeling everybody's moods and it's just kind of like ah, I don't want to feel that so you don't like crowds a lot of times um, or um, it could even be that you pick up somebody's moods um, that you're close to that maybe they're far away and then you find out later like um, why am I feeling this weird mood like anxiety or something like that and then all of a sudden you find out and you start thinking about that person and you find out that it was actually them that they were having a really bad day or something was happening to them right so that's the first sign that you are awake the second sign is that you become really just tolerant and understanding um, you become just like more internally peaceful and more of an observer and you're just like whoa like what is going on that I can understand when somebody is even like projecting on me or in a bad mood or maybe even taking it on me I'm just like yeah you know just kind of rolls off you. you that's when you know that you are spiritually waking up because when you have that spiritual awakening where your vibration is higher things are not affecting you as much and if they are which they will like periodically you know especially if you're in a lower vibration that day and you're just more neutral it can still happen to you but that's because you're not doing enough of the spiritual exercises that expand your aura and create more of a protection around you and actually create like um, a little bit more of an energy vortex that keeps your own energy to yourself all right, so anyways, we'll go more into that in the webinar that I'm coming up with this week. Um, we'll have um, a full webinar, brandyjoy.com, if you want to save your seat, if you haven't yet. And we'll be talking about how to achieve spiritual awakening without the uncertainty. But anyways, the third sign that you are spiritually awake is that you feel compassion. You feel surges of compassion come over you. And so you might feel like, for instance, you're eating maybe a burger right maybe you're still a meat eater and you're just like oh my god like I feel really guilty eating this it feels weird right so that that is definitely a sign that you're waking up because your your compassion is is moving up and as you awaken more and more you become more and more compassionate and more understanding and so you can actually like have a lot of compassion for the planet all of a sudden or nature or animals or people and so you're very drawn into the healing field and you want to help others and it's all about the other right so anyways those are the three signs of spiritual awakening but there is so much more to that so we're gonna dive way deeper in the webinar coming up so if you haven't saved your seat go on brandyjoy.com save your seat we'll go live this week and we're going to have a big Q&A at the end and so that way you can talk to me and ask me questions if I didn't already go over it um, but it will be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to sharing my process with you because I started my journey with awakening 20 years ago back in 2000 can you believe it's been 20 years almost since the uh, year 2000? But that's when I had my first spiritual awakening. It scared the crap out of me. And that's what happens, you know? Can you see how this, like, you know, uh, just understanding what you're going through is so important? Because you'll start going through crisis. You'll go through confusion, sometimes isolation. And it's a really weird process to go through. You know, my process was very strange. I shut down back in the year 2000 after that happened. I was like, no, that's not happening. But then I had another big spiritual awakening in 2011 and that changed my life because I was a lot more open to it and I jumped into like understanding the occult and understanding you know spiritually what was happening and started studying sacred geometry as you can see on my arm right 
So I really got into all of this and now I have a process for path working and spiritual awakening that works really well because I got scared so many times and I got freaked out so many times by things and now it's like, it's fine, it's, it's normal for me and I know how to deal with it and what to do. So join me this week if you haven't signed up, just save your seat and we'll have a live Q&A and all that fun stuff this week. So I will see you there. Remember brandyjoy.com if you haven't saved it. Okay, bye for now everybody.